let's move on. We're doing, whoa, movie content. First things first, what we are starting with is, of course, the Luca trailer. Every stream, we will always do movie content first. And we have four or five trailers I want to get through today. In advance, I'm so sorry if you're watching this as a video and you don't have the context for the stream. If you don't know what's going on and want to know, you should follow this. Go, go, check me out on the streams. Otherwise, we are doing, and I'm only going to say this once for your sake, Moo. We are doing the Luca trailer. We are at, we're watching it. The new one came out today. Reaction, analysis, all of the good stuff. With that being said, I'm not going to say anymore. All right, that was supposed to be a wink, but I was already ha I already had this eye shut, so it's just a. There you go. Put in your imagination to see that wink. What we're going to do is we're going to watch through it first. However, I am going to make a slight change here. I last week put in some pauses to stop copyrights of, you know, people being like, you can't just copy our trailer and move it on. Even if you are talking about it in a discussion format later, that can help advertisers in the future. Blah, 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 blah. The pausing really helped with the copyright element. However, I have to pause it more for it to actually take effect. Because uh, in the Fast and Furious 9 trailer, that got caught. Even though, like, I paused for, like, 10 seconds in the middle and then continued at one point, and it still just took that whole element, so... I apologize. I'm gonna be a right talking Andy through this whole thing. I'll do the best that I can. All right? Hopefully you can see everything. Cool. Let's get into this. This literally came out today. First of all, I freaking love this music. Again, though, I'm getting um, Coco vibes, so mwah, great to me. I mean, this doesn't take much of a guess to guess when this is happening in the story. This is presumably the first thing, considering he's, I guess, scared of the surface world. Until, you know, he meets the human girl to get a crush on, I bet. If you haven't seen our last trailer analysis, by the way, I would uh, recommend it. Uh, if you're watching it live, um, sorry, you're going to have to deal with a bunch of out-of-context things. But it's not a musical, wow. from what I can see. Luca. That was hard to watch. You I didn't actually know that was his name. I just, nervous boy and confident boy was all I had them put down as. That would make a lot of sense. It's all about him. Uh, coming? Is he afraid of the air or is he afraid of the town? Because he's old. So like, has he been spending the whole time underwater before? I doubt it. It's probably just he's afraid of being spotted. He's just extra nervous around humans, if I had to guess. Um, for the sake of... Chopping up the trailer more. Let's just skip the logos. Sure, sure. Anywhere near the surface. Ah, they do have parents. I didn't think they. I, for some reason, I thought it would just be like the two boys are on their own adventure. But all right, perfect. May I mean, it makes perfect sense. I can't see because it's a blurry mess, and I assume this is the mum. Have they got the same Pixar mum proportions? You know that running gag of a meme. I can't tell. It's just a big blur of green and blue. But like, have they done that. You, you tell me. I don't know. Oh, okay. Just imagine you could just shake off all, I mean, I guess dogs do, but like the ability to just shake off all water like that easily. What a convenience. Everything good is above the surface. Walking. <laughs> what was that? What? Oh, that's a TikTok dance in the making there. Why is he doing that while dry? To learn how to do it? And then very strange. The surface. Walk. They didn't even move oh, their foot! The I thought that it just looks like they're shape. I mean, I guess that's the point. They're bad at it, but like... Oh, yes, okay. I am a dumb- Wow, I'm supposed to be analyzing this? That was terrible. Yeah, okay. He's trying to swim. In the air. Got it. I'm- Maybe I should be qualified for this. May <laughs> We're week three into this. Maybe we'll get better over time. But Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Why did he- he, he also would have seen him step over to that. Oh, well. The sky, clouds, the sun. Whoa, don't look at it. So he's actually never been on the surface. Or, like, it's not even the town that he's afraid of. He just... This kid's like, what, 10? 8? Even if he's like 3? How have you never noticed the sun? You would see a, a ball of light, even if it's like, dis you know, disformed into all sorts of ways from the water. You'd be like, oh. That's definitely look at it. Have you ever gone to the That's not that funny, but I'll allow it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Are we allowed in the human town? Have you ever gone to the human town? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what was he wearing before? Oh, he was definitely look at it. Oh. Have you ever gone 
Okay. I was wondering, I was like, what What did he change? But I, I apparently just don't notice the clothes on these people. I'm kind of an expert. Also, hold on, I'm going to keep doing this. Okay. We saw in the first trailer that they were running away from, like, they were on a tiny little island and there was a little t t tower on it. This must be inside that tower. It is their own personal place. We even see, like, that, that pile of pots uh, over here. I think we see later on in that first trailer. Nice. They have their own little home. I like it. I'm kind of an expert. Okay, nice, standard, all right, cool. That's how they first get in, cool. And then we have the opening for the last trailer. Ooh, is that the girl? No, it's not. Oh, uh, hold on, actually. <laughs> I don't know, is that the guy from last time that we, that like, he's like, did you see that? Huh. Like, uh, like, is he actually the villain? So I guess this is a villain, potentially. I mean, they're showing him twice. He's a, he's a Vapor kind of dude. I don't even, Vasper? I don't even, Vespa? I don't, I can't read. I don't know what it's uh, a parody of, or if it's a direct, I just, I don't know cars. Moving on. Wow. He's got, oh. Yeah, he's totally a villain. I mean, he shows up twice. What? I love the the also, is that a sun glare? Or is that my is that my editor messing? Like my editing? Yeah. That's my weird artifacting, excuse me. Dude's trying to eat the world's longest baguette well, it's just a baguette. Or a really, really, really long panini. <laughs> oh man, I have found my thumbnail. You can't see this. Oh, you're missing out. Do you know what you can't see? This is what you're missing out on. <laughs> it's smear, well, it's not even quite smear lines, but it's just like, oh, <laughs> when the imposter is sus. Oh, anyway, make him sing. I don't know what he's singing. Uh, but no, I liked the perpendicular face on him away from the camera. Like that's a nice artistic choice. Obviously, you know, he doesn't get more artsy than that. <laughs> and then, yeah. Standard. Uh, it's also just weird to see it in context. Like, it just doesn't look natural anymore. I think I've looked at it too much. It's like, this is an actual, this is the actual frame. And it's just, what is, what is going on? This, this, oh my God. Moving on. <laughs> so. Lucky today, hmm? hey, oh, okay. Yeah, that's just outright. He's the villain hey. speech. Hey, so. Okay, so he does look at least a little bit more grumpy here. It edits a little bit weirdly because she's just like, Hey, leave them alone! And then he kind of, kind of does. For losers. Wow, uh, he really showed them. Losers. I guess this is uh, like school time playground insults territory, isn't it? And I bet the club they're going to start is astrology. Astro, not astrology. Astronomy, that's the better one. I literally have just been reading about astronomy. Astrophysics, the universe, because that's what she's into. And that's what he follows her to watch in the last trailer. I have had heard a lot of people, are, oh, f um, some Disney staff are upset that this is on Disney Plus and it's not getting a boosted price potentially. Uh, they, they're like, oh, this is our art. Why is it on such a service? But I mean, I get it. It's uh, June's not going to be a good time for the cinemas and we've already delayed everything enough. So I can understand the sort of back and forth from it. I'm not too fast, but I mean, that's because I'm the watcher. But what do you guys think? What's your thoughts on Disney Plus and films? You think it takes away from the art of the cinema? You think it makes it more accessible and therefore makes it better? Would you pay more money to watch this like you would all the other Disney films that are bringing out, would you pay extra for, yeah, like you did for Soul? Or do you think, nah, make it free uh, for Disney Plus and all the rest of it? Like, uh, I don't know, I don't know. It's a bit of a dicey one, you know? We'll see. So this, yes, this was the kind of tower we saw before on an, on its own little island, but this is, I guess, it's another example. Name it's the actual Macavaldo. village. Are... Her name's Julia. Macavaldo. No. My name is Julia Macavaldo. We underdogs have to look out for each other. What's under the dogs? Nice, okay, so, I mean, it's basically what we predicted last time. She meets them, he becomes enamored, and confident guy 
vanishes for the second half of that first trailer, so I don't know. This is my dad. Why do you think he kills with the but lives on he, Has he got He's only got one arm. Or he's got a very strangely folded shirt. <laughs> Interesting. He lost his arm to a shark or to a merman and he doesn't like them anymore. He's the threatening non-villain who they're going to be scared of the whole time until he discovers their secret at the end of the movie and then will actually help them because his daughter likes them and he wants to be on the side of his daughter. Analysis. Speculation. Dad from Cloudy with a, cha a chance of meatballs. Yes, that's exactly the vibes I'm getting from this. Ironically, that was like Sony Pictures and this is Pixar, but that is 100% the exact vibes he's... Like, I, like he's, he could literally have the same joke of his, eyelash, his eyebrows lifting up and his face being underneath. That is dot on. I think he kills with those. Anything that swims. Anything that swims. Uh, I don't remember any. I don't remember any cloudy lines, but that's basically on point with his voice, right? He'll probably have the same sort of character arc then. Yeah, absolutely. Which I mean, I'll have it twice. I I guess. I mean, I do really like Cloudy with a Chance of Meeples, and I really like Pixar. I guess there's only. Is there really so many characters you can create? Maybe this is a negative. I don't know my thoughts on this yet. We'll see how it turns out. Maybe it will become a little less. Maybe it'll linger around and do some unique things or it might be right to the beat cliche which is a bit hmm that's a good point i don't know <laughs> hey wait we saw this from last time i gotta say i have i nailed that last trailer analysis so far i have been dot on everything that i've seen so far in this has matched together with what I said last time i even said hey is this guy like a villain or something on the on the guy with the Scarf shirt? Yeah. Yeah, he is. I'm a genius. This, for the longest time, I was like, what are they banging? Is this a rock? What are they making? It's a toaster. It's the two slots for the bread and then the little slidey piece. It just doesn't have the piece in it. This is like a reused toaster, right? Maybe I'm blind. That's what I'm seeing. Oh, he learns how to ride a bike. He <laughs> glitches in my programming. Why? That's interesting. Guy in the back here is really not invested. Oh, actually, they both look bored. Has he failed that many times? He's not covered in scrapes, though. I don't know. Interesting. But also, we see this earlier. We see him riding the bike with him on the back and then flying through the air last trailer or something. There's a million things you think. Things you Come on. Think there we go. Oh no, he's gonna, he's gonna do that jump one day. Oh, haven't they already done it? Maybe not. All you, need is a chance to try. you just need a chance to try the things that you think you can't do. Cool. And again, this is them on top of a roof or actually it looks like they're on top of a tree or a tree house with a pillow looking up at the stars. We haven't actually seen it directly yet, but it's, it's what's going on. That's cool. Nice. That. Yeah. Is this real? I feel like also, I don't know why the artifacting's happening again. It just does that sometimes. This almost feels like it's a dream. Like it, there's no ocean anywhere in this, presumably. I, d I don't know. I'm going to say it's a dream. It's just like he's imagining it. Because also, they're on the villain scooter. Oh, there are a couple of thieves as well as mermen. Interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out on him here and say this isn't quite accurate. If it is, then he's at a museum for space, but most likely... I don't know, what, did he eat a mushroom that was a bit unsavory under the water? I don't know, but okay, we're going with it. Hey, okay, and the, and the planets are correct. All right, cool. <laughs> oh, that was a lovely shot. What was going on? Oh, the, the dad's cat can definitely recognize them. Can we stop doing that, please? Oh, actually, it sees them in water form. Oh, dear. Although, is this the same? Yes, it is. This is presumably after diving on him to, like, because he spat the water out. So they didn't turn around in that moment, I guess. All right, fair enough. 
This is too dangerous is probably in reference to when they first go out on the island, if I had to guess, and then they get used to it later. <laughs> anyway, I like this. Uh, interesting, again, like the direction on this to just sort of like perform for the camera, give us the scream, and then is that the point? Because he's on a boat, so he's doing the scream with the background? Probably. And then drops to the frame. Sure, fair enough. Anyway. Okay, we're hiding away on a bike. You you got a Bruno in your head. A Bruno. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's going on? So this, is this bike what they've been building this whole time? They've been, they like the guy's scooter, so they go and build his bike. And then the toaster is like, a seat in the middle of it? Maybe not. Bruno in your head. A Bruno. Say, silencio Bruno. Silencio Lots of... Bruno. Louder. A pep talk. Don't have a Bruno in your head. I feel real bad for any of the Brunos in the audience. I'm glad my name's not Bruno. It's Daryl. No one ever says there's a Daryl in your head, so don't you start saying it. I'm an idiot and I'm proud. I remember this episode of SpongeBob. Just you. Good. No. Okay. They. What is it? That's. I guess he. What is he afraid of? The the act. Of going in the water, or just like the act of the ramp. Fair enough. Also, wait, is there a toaster? There is no toaster. All right, they didn't use the toaster to make the bike. Now we know. Okay, saw this last time. Where is it going? I have to like stop and pause around for a minute for the sake of copyright. So excuse me. What's wrong with you, stupid is that the villain again? Okay, no. I was like, does he got like a super powered water scooter? That'd be amazing. Are they gonna invent that? Water scooter? Ski? Uh, water skis? Probably not, but it's a thought. What's wrong with you, stupido? You do it now. Just say the thing. What's wrong with you, stupido? <gasps> <laughs> They're trying to learn the trying to learn the language. How did they struggle? They didn't before, did they? I mean, I guess I never probably heard. No, they what? What? Uh, or they just didn't know what the phrase meant. All right, sure. It'll make the mothers laugh, I'm sure, I'm sure. But okay. That seemed pretty self-explanatory. I mean, sometimes actually a little bit, uh, where is it? Come on, let me see my line, let me see my joke. A little less explanatory and a little bit more planetary. <laughs> but otherwise, I mean, it just seemed kind of chronological. There's a new villain. That's, that's what he looks like. Or he, he doesn't look like that. He looks like, you know where this is going, and I'm going to do it again. Hold on, let me get the right frame. There we go. He looks like that. Magical. I will, oh, I'm so glad I found this. I hope, I think I might watch this whole film frame by frame and try and find every smear line like this to see what I could, I'd just be like, here you go. Who's directing this? I love their, love their style. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a lot of jokes about it. It'll be great fun. Uh. <laughs> But yep, yeah, that was all we can take from the Luca trailer. It seemed to be mostly chronological, showing a little bit more of the characters and how they connect a little later on. You got the guy from <laughs> Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs basically reposted. A couple errors, uh, a couple shots that I can't actually piece together, a couple mysteries, and then yeah, a little joke. So, fair enough. Very cool. Let's move on.